Hey guys, John Thompson, Spring Framework Guru. This video here is a sample from my Spring Core course. In this video, I'm going to show you how to take an, a Spring XML file and introduce it to Spring Boot and get it working as part of the Spring Boot configuration. Ultimately, in this uh, series of modules, I'm going to be showing you how to transfer over from a Java configuration to an all XML configuration so you can start learning more about the different options of configuring the Spring Framework. If you want to learn more about my course, head on over to springframework.guru where you can learn about my free online spring tutorial and my spring core course. Hey guys, John Thompson, Spring Framework Guru here. Today we're going to show you how to take a Spring Boot project and start transferring the configuration over to XML. Uh, it's pretty easy to import an XML file. This is going to be our first step in the project to wire up the XML file and get that imported into the Spring Boot configuration. So we had our, our project here that we've been working with. So you can start learning right now. It's being driven by a Java configuration. We want to switch. If you want to learn more about my course. You can head so over to springframework.guru and learn more about my Spring tab. Framework. This is a our Spring traditionally where we store the XML files. And you don't have if you to want to learn more about my course, head on over to springframework.guru where you can learn about my free yeah, online Spring tutorial spring. and my Spring Core course. Hope you enjoy the content of this and video. IntelliJ, we're going to come over to New and come down to XML configuration file. I'm just going to call it Spring Config. Uh, XML. We're going to go ahead and add this to get. Now, one thing I want to point out, IntelliJ is asking me here about application context. I'm going to configure this. Tell IntelliJ it's a new Spring application context. And that will keep IntelliJ happy as far as what it's sensing in, in the project. Now, the one thing that we need to I want to point out to you about the XML file is the XML namespace. I don't know how familiar you guys are with using XML namespaces, but this is what controls the, the structure. These are XML schemas that Spring uses to, to define it. And the IDEs today also use this to, uh, for auto-completion, and we'll see some of that in action here in a little bit. Okay, the first thing we want to do is set up a component scan. This will get everything working exactly the same using the XML configuration file as it was using the Java configuration file. So I'm going to come in here and we can see that IntelliJ is giving us autocomplete options here. This is the same package that we had, uh, guru.spring framework. Now if I come over to the Java config, or I'm sorry, the spring configuration, the spring boot, we were telling it to do a component scan and we don't want to do that anymore. Here, at least, we're going to do a import resource. This import resource statement is going to tell Spring Boot to go there and look for that XML configuration and bring that in. Okay, now what we've done is we told it to do a component scan there because we're commenting out the component scan here and we're going to drive everything from this XML file. So now let's see if we can run this and Okay, so what happened here, I just want to recap this for you guys is previously we had a component scan, a spring framework or guru.spring framework to look in that package for components and we are getting rid of that and we are tying spring boot to import the configuration from this xml file and in this xml file that we created we added an xml command to import the spring framework or guru.spring framework package that is going to configure tell spring boot or spring to, to look in this package and pick up everything that's been annotated. So it's going to pick up this controller, it's going to pick up this Java config, so it's going to pick up all the Java configuration objects we've been working with in the tutorial and import them in. So really all we did is subbed out that annotation and then put that into the XML. In the next uh, few modules we're going to show you how to 
transfer all of this uh, Java configuration code and annotations over to the XML configuration. <laughs>